but she wanted to create this movement. So by holding nice wide grip, and you're always going clockwise as you look at them, and you just let them move with you. It's a bit like a medium dough, but you're creating movement. And if tummies don't have movement, then the milk gets a chance to sit, can move too slowly through there, and then it can ferment and produce wind in their tummies, and that then is painful. So anything you can do to help move the milk round is going to help. And if you see adults, or children, you know, when you're in hospital and you're hospitalised and you're not moving for whatever reason, um, the first one of the first things that happens is you get constipated. So by picking up under here, we're trying to create length. Now, a lot of people will talk about bicycle legs and to bring the legs up, but actually, if they're in discomfort, that can be helpful. But in between times, you want to get as much space in the tummy as possible, because as much space gives the, everything a chance to move around. Does that make sense? Yeah. So if you're lifting up here, and it's just like a figure of eight, so you're stretching that side, you're stretching that side, you're stretching that side. And you see, so. Yeah, because we did actually bit. say yesterday that his legs are always called right up. Oh. <laughs> the desired effect. <laughs> right on me. Um, and it's a sort of play. So just doing it when you're changing nappies, in between, just when they're comfortable. Um, I've never just seen helps. him stretch out like that. That's amazing. Yeah. And the two areas that are most likely to get congested are the ileocecal valve here and your sigmoid colon here, which are the areas that when they're very crunched up, um, and then you get those areas of congestion. So that works really well. And the other way you can do it. Mm -hmm.